nothing says Americana like some good old rap verse on a holiday weekend or a Labor Day weekend. Everybody, it's your man Tulip coming you with a, a series on Americana classic how to grill rat worst and how to grill some hamburgers. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. As you can see, I already got my grill set up. I already got my charcoal briquettes already ashed over. I'm gonna have a hot zone as you can see, and I'm gonna have a cool zone over here as well. So this is something that everybody should understand how to do. They have some uh, hamburgers I uh, got from uh, patties I already made from Costco down here in Texas. And then I'm also gonna use some uh, rat burst that I got from a friendly neighborhood Costco. Go ahead and crack these puppies open. You know, I love me some rat burst. I spent uh, four and a half years in Germany. You know, our sister country, our allies, when I was in the military and the Air Force, it was my first duty station. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm do a, you could cook bratwurst slow and easy or hard and fast. You know, I got these where uh, I'm gonna start them on the cold zone because that's the way I wanna do it. I wanna kinda slow, slow cook them, if you will, if, if you understand that on the grill. And I'm just laying them out there with my uh, hands right now. I want to keep those marks right there. I'm gonna put it in. I got a good amount. Just me and my little family today. My brother is coming over, possibly. But yeah. And it only takes, you know, approximately 20 to 25 minutes to cook are cooked properly and you want to turn often be evenly cooked throughout the day you don't want no raw, raw meat you know with that especially with any uh, type of uh, products that may contain pork or anything like that you want to make sure it's done properly the brats first and i'm gonna close this up and let it uh start getting going when you're cooking these and grilling them whether it be charcoal or gas you want to make sure that you have them uh cooked thoroughly which is 165 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure it's brown completely on the inside with no pink remaining okay I like my stuff well done I don't know about you that's where I know it's good and ready but to each his own we're gonna show you what we do today and you take it in you know finesse it how you want to that is I'm using today came from Costco I got them where they already made I didn't have to uh, I didn't have time to go and just make out my own handmade uh, patties, but you could buy them at uh, Costco, the Kirtland Ground Sirloin and beef patties with 15% body fat, you know, and then you can just season them with what you want. Today, what I'm using, instead of uh, black pepper, I'm using uh, garlic salt with a little California style seasoning in there to give it a little kick. I, uh, I already flipped my, uh, my links and then I got the hamburger patties here still on the cool zone I'm, I'm slow cooking this stuff right here uh, you want them at least 165 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit you know and you constantly flip bratwurst and then you uh, flip the uh, hamburger patties when the one side get uh, cooked and the hamburger is already done See, that's what happens if you're not careful. It almost got past me. See that? You see that? I, I let it, I let it, uh, it a little too direct on the heat. And now it's starting to split. We're gonna move you in the cool zone, you in the cool zone cooler zone let this one come down get a little heat yeah these are uh... there you go the hamburgers and bratwurst are already completed I added some ribs on there too 
to get a little smoke taste, but uh, haven't done so. Hit the like button and subscribe. This is uh, grilling with the man, Tulaker. All right, let's go. Let's get it. 